guys welcome back to another episode of LSPD4. Today we'll be using a 2013 Ford Explorer with the Vermont State Police and we'll be doing a patrol on US Route 1. Now uh, with this Explorer we have a push bar. Uh, now the Vermont State Police doesn't really use push bars. I looked on Google and I typed in Vermont State Police and I saw only one Explorer that was a 2016 that had a push bar on it. So I decided just to use it anyways. I saw most of their 2013 Explorers without a push bar but I can't really take it off and I would just have to search for one and I didn't search for one I just got this one so anyways I'll have a link in the description for the the livery and the vehicle um, now the livery says San Andreas State Police on the side where the badge is as you guys can see there San Andreas State Police I can't get that changed that's something that the creator has to change but also the uh, lights are all blue as you guys can see because that's what the Vermont State Police uses and I don't have a Vermont State Police uniform I couldn't find one there's not one for LSP Far's website so anyways, we'll go ahead and get this episode started. Dispatching show me 10 and we'll see what we get into. Okay, so we're going to have a motorcycle in front of us. Well, not in front of us, but in front of this van. I'm just going to go around them. I'm going to try to pull over this motorcycle. They don't have a license plate on the back of it. Okay, we blimped them, but they're not signaled to stop yet. There we go. Dispatch going on 1081. It's going to be on a... Uh, green motorcycle. It's going to be a westbound US Route 1. There's going to be uh, no visible license plate. It's going to be a black male wearing black shirt, uh, brown pants, black helmet. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and just angle our vehicle up so nobody hits us. Um, and yeah, we stopped this guy for no license plate, so we're going to go ahead and make contact with him. As you can see, there's no license plate there. Hello, sir. I'm with the Vermont State Police. You know why I stopped you today? The reason why I stopped you is because uh, you didn't have a license plate for your motorcycle. Um, in the state of uh, for Vermont, you have to have a license plate for your motorcycles, so or any vehicle, I should say. Um, so do you have a license with you and registration insurance? Get up. All right, thank you. Just sit tight for just a moment, all right, Dean? So I'm not sure why he's driving without a license plate. Uh, there's there's no like I can't question him and ask him why. I wish there was something like that, but he might have just bought it or something. I don't know. Maybe it's stolen. I don't know. Anyways, Dean's coming back with the valid license, no active warrants. He's been stopped two times. All right, and the vehicle is coming back with valid insurance, valid registration, and the plate is that number, even though there's no plate. So apparently the bike the bike is registered with a plate, but it doesn't have a plate on it for some reason. I'm not sure why. Okay, so the bike's called a Vader, so... Alright, well... So I guess we'll just go ahead and give this guy a warning since his bike is registered. Um, we're not going to give him a citation or anything. It's just a simple, I guess, violation or whatever you want to call it. Alright, sir, here's your license. Here's your registration insurance back. I'm going to give you a warning today. Just uh, try to get your license plate put on the back of your motorcycle. Just get a license plate from the courthouse if you need to get one. Or if you have it at home, just uh, try to mount it on, okay? Do you have any All questions right. for me? No? Alright, you're free to go. Take care. Dispatch, you can show me 10 8 with a verbal warning. Okay, so we just had a white uh, Corvette or Quiquette, whatever it's called in the game. Uh, but we, had, yeah, we just had this white sports car. It's a Corvette or Quirk. I don't know what it's called. I think it's a, a Quiquette or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, it's that car up there in front of the little two door or whatever, the felon up there. So I'm going to try to go around them. They just uh, rear end a vehicle uh, when they came down the hill. Dispatch, we're going to have 1081, stand by. We're going to go and try to get the Corvette pulled off to the side of the road. There we go. Alright, dispatch, well, never mind, we can't really see the plate from our uh, camera angle, so we'll go and run the plate. Alright, dispatch. License plate's going to be 88 Oscar Sierra, um, or a correction, October Sierra Romeo 143. It's going to be on a white Quiquette, or whatever it's called. It's going to be northbound US Route 1. So the flags are coming back with no registration. Hello, sir. I'm with the Vermont State Police. You know why I stopped you today? reason why I stopped you is because you were in a vehicle when you was coming down the hill. 
I see you got a busted uh, window right here. Uh, I'm not sure if you have any damage in the front. Yeah, I see some scratches. His headlights seem okay. Alright, sir, do you have a license with you? A red trick insurance? Alright, sir, and have you, uh, how do you think to drink today? I don't have to answer that. Um, have you taken any uh, drugs recently? Am I being detained? Currently, at this moment, you are for uh, reckless driving. Alright, just a touch, just a moment, alright? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and run his information in the database, make sure he doesn't have any warrants or the vehicle's not stolen or anything. Okay, so uh, he's got a valid license, no active warrants. He's been stopped four times in the past. He's 18 years old and he's already been stopped four times, so that's not good. Okay, and plate matches for one with red off, so it's not a stolen plate or vehicle, and insurance is valid, registration expired. Okay, so he just has to get a new um, sticker, like uh, his tags are expired, and that's about it. So he has registration, but they're just expired. Um, He's been stopped four times in the past, so we're going to go ahead and give this guy a uh, citation for reckless driving because um, it is his fault. You know, he did wreck into the vehicle. They 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 came down, the, the vehicle in front of him came down the hill, and they slammed on the brakes because there was traffic in front of him. Well, when he didn't slam hard enough, and the vehicle, uh, you know, wrecked into him, so that's kind of how it happened. So, um... Actually, I think it's up here. Wait. There's like something. I, I know there's something in here that says like uh, fault of an act. I don't know what it is. It's like, uh, never mind. I'll just do reckless driving. I don't know. Wait, this is a rest report. What am I doing? Yeah. Okay, there we go. All right. So, um, we'll see. Yeah, at fault in an accident. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what we're going to get him for. Alright, so we created the citation. I'm not sure how much the citation is going to be. But we'll go ahead and make contact with him and let him know what, what we're going to do. His vehicle seem uh, roadworthy to drive it off, so I'm just going to allow him to drive it off. Alright, sir, here's your license. Here's your registration insurance back. I'm going to be giving you a citation today um, for being at fault. For that accident uh, it was your fault because you hold on just a second I'm trying to find out where the I don't guess they have the thing in here like okay the computer doesn't have the thing that says at fault for the uh, accident so I guess I'll have to do reckless driving all right well it's gonna be a six hundred fifty dollar citation so I'm just gonna bump that down a little bit because it's way too much in my opinion We'll do uh, four hundred dollars. Why not? Three points. That seems fair enough. All right, sir. So your citation is going to be four hundred dollars. It's going to be for reckless driving for being at fault for the accident. Um, so I'll need you to sign online showing that you'll appear in court and take care of the citation for me. All right. Thank you. Just put your first and last name there. All right. Thank you. Um, and do you have any questions for me? All right. Well, just uh, slow down for me and pay attention to those brake lights because that's what you failed to do. Um, so just just uh, be careful when you're pulling out and just uh, have a great, great day and try to slow down for me, okay? Alright, dispatch, you can show me 10 8 with the uh, citation given. Okay, so we're going to have a vehicle here. It's going to be this black motorcycle. We're going to go ahead and stop him. It's actually in the same spot we just pulled off. The same spot we just pulled over the same other dude that w with the um, no license plate. Okay, so we're stopping this guy for, uh, he ran, he, uh, hit my vehicle, he, uh, hit me on the side there, as you can see the damage there, so. Dispatching on 1081, it's gonna be San Andreas 6, I can't read it. I'll do it this way. Alright, dispatch, uh, license plate's gonna be 69, uh, Victor Golf Golf 313. It's gonna be westbound US Route 1 on a black Vader. Okay, so the flags are no insurance, so he doesn't have insurance. Hello, sir, I'm with the Vermont State Police. You know why I stopped you today? The reason why I stopped you is because you uh, rear end my vehicle, and I uh, have some back end damage to my vehicle now. 
Alright, so do you have a uh, licensed registration insurance with you? Give them. And have you had anything to drink today recently? I got better I got nothing better to do, of course not. Uh have you taken any drugs recently? I don't know how to answer that. Alright, just a type just a moment, alright? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and run him in the database, make sure he doesn't have any warrants or anything. Um it said that it doesn't have any insurance, so we'll have to see about that. Alright, so looks like he has a valid license, no active warrants, he's been stopped four times in the past. <clears throat> okay, and insurance is expired and valid registration. So his insurance expired, so that's it's not bad. Actually, you know what? Uh, his insurance might be expired because they haven't sent him a new one in the mail because that could be the case. You know, they might not send him the new, um, what do you call it? I don't know what it's called, but like the new paperwork or whatever you want to call it, the new insurance paperwork. I don't know, whatever it's called. Anyways, they might not have sent him the new one, so that's probably why he doesn't have valid insurance. Or maybe, I don't know. It says he has insurance, but it's expired, so maybe, I don't know what's going on. But anyways, I'm not going to worry about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to give him a citation uh, for reckless driving, of course. Um, you know, he can't just, he can't run, he can't run into a back of a police car like that. For some reason, it's not allowing me to... When I go to click traffic citation and it wants me to fill out his name and all that stuff, I'm not doing that. Okay, I'm trying to figure out, okay, that's a motorcycle, um, models of Vader. Uh, I think it's a black. Maybe it's, yeah, it's black. I don't know, I don't know what the license plate does. Let's see. I'm just going to do reckless driving because, um, it was reckless driving. I mean, I mean, also it was an accident. I could, I could have done, fall on an accident, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to do the reckless driving. And yes, I know it says all that stuff is missing, but I'm not going to worry about it. All right, so we're going to go and give him a citation for reckless driving. I'm not sure how much it's going to be. I might just up it, or I might just lower it to like 400, like I did the last guy. All right, sir. Here's your license. Here's your registration, your insurance back. I'm gonna give you a citation for a reckless driving. It's gonna be. Let's see. We'll we'll do a little bit more for this guy since he hit my car. It's different because he had another, you know, different car. This is government vehicle, so we'll do five hundred dollars. We'll do a hundred more dollars more. And there we go. All right. Um. So three points. That seems fair enough. Five hundred dollars. That seems fair enough. All right, sir. So your citation will be five hundred dollars if you put in three points on your record. Um, I will need you to sign a line here, show them that you will appear in court. Just put your first and last name there on the line. Thank you. And do you have any questions for me? No. All right. Well, you're free to go. Take care. Dispatch. You can show me ten eight with the citation given. Okay. So we just had a vehicle. Uh, it's a black felon convertible here. As you guys can see, they're swerving a little bit. So I'm gonna try to get it in between these cars. Okay, so we blimped them. We're going to wait until traffic continues, and then we'll pull them over. They're possibly uh, a 1049 driver. So, Alright, so I've, I've activated my lights, but they're not pulling over for us. There we go. I don't know what's going on with this uh, truck up here, the scrap truck. What is he doing? Come on. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just pull this vehicle off the side of the road for us. Dispatch, we're going to have 1081. It's going to be Sandra's 6. I can't even read it. I hate this car because it has like the worst camera angles. It's going to be 64 Juliet Sierra Charlie 303 southbound US Route 1 on a black convertible felon. Three, no registration, three, it says, so violation. we'll to make contact with them, see what's going on. Hello, ma'am. I'm with the Dispatch Vermont State Police. You know why I stopped you today? The reason why I stopped you is because uh, you're swerving a little bit. So, would you, are you under the influence of alcohol? Uh, okay, no, I don't want any. I don't, I don't want any alcohol. Um, have you taken any drugs in the past hours? I can't remember, officer. Uh, okay. Uh, so do you have a licensed Richard insurance with you? 
All right, just sit tight, just a moment. So, she just admitted to uh, saying that she is, you know, under the influence. Uh, and then she also offered me to have some alcohol. So, we'll definitely have to get her out and do a field sobriety test or a, a breathalyzer test. Okay, so she's coming back with a valid license. No active warrants. Has been stopped one time. 51 years old. Okay, and the vehicle has a valid insurance, expired registration, plate matches from what we read off. So, so at this time, we're going to go ahead and get our breathalyzer out, and uh, we'll go and grab it real quick, and then we'll go and ask her to step out of the vehicle, do a breathalyzer test, and if she comes back, you know, over the limit, we'll have to arrest her. All right, ma'am, I'm going to need you to step out of your vehicle for me. Alright ma'am, so what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing a test real quick to make sure you're not under the influence. I need you to blow into this clear tube until I say stop. Just blow into it until I say stop, okay? Keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, and stop. Okay ma'am, what I want you to do is just want you to turn around and put your hand behind your back. Alright ma'am, so right now at this time, you are placed in arrest for driving to the influence. So you have the right to remain silent. If they say you can, it'll be against you in the court of law. You have the right to have an attorney if you can't have four attorney. One will be appointed to you by the court. Do you understand these rights as I've read them to you? Alright, ma'am. Uh, so do you have anything on you need to know about? Anything on a Pokemon or anything? Attention all units. Officer needs assistance in Badham Canyon. Alright, ma'am. Just go ahead and take a seat in the back of the vehicle for me. At least we got a backup unit over there sitting there in case something happens. Okay, so we're going to go and search the vehicle, make sure there's nothing in it, and uh, maybe we'll find an open container. Hopefully. Because uh, maybe, I don't know if she went to a bar and got drunk and then, you know, started driving, or if she's actually, uh, you know, out here drinking and driving. Regardless, she's under the influence and she's not allowed to drive, which she is anyway, so. Alright, so I'm just going to go disable calls since um, we're searching this vehicle. Okay, we didn't find nothing legal in the vehicle, so I'm just going to go ahead and just cut out of here. Dispatcher, we're going to have uh, one white female on 1015. I'll be standing by for 1048. Alright ma'am, so your vehicle is going to be impounded, uh, so whenever you get out of jail there will be a fee that you'll have to pay to get it back if you're wanting it back, and so you'll just be placed in arrest right now for DUI. Uh, we didn't find anything legal on you or in your vehicle, so that's what you'll be placed in arrest for, do you understand? Okay, so we're going to go and make an arrest report for the female real quick, and we'll go ahead and call for a transport unit since we're done with that. All right, we'll do um, toggle background so you guys can see what's going on, even though I have it paused. Okay, so she's going to be placed in arrest for driving under the influence, which is a felony. All right, so I'm going to click save and clear. And we'll go ahead and call for a prison transport unit. Dispatch, I'm going to be standing by for a 1016. I'll be 10 8 Alpha Bay ARF. We're going to go ahead and end the episode right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like on the video. And be sure to subscribe down below if you want to see more LSP4 content. And just comment down below your thoughts of this episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to just let me know in the comment section below what you like about it. You know, just let me know. Do you like the car? Um, you know, whatever you want to comment about, just comment down below if you want to. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.